Thank you for listening to the 39th Street Church Christ Daily Devotional. The devotional today is Don't Be a Rester by Jack Williams. Oh, don't be a rester. Well, I'm not talking about like I'm resting in the chair. I'm talking about something a lot more serious. In the book of 2 Peter, the third chapter, the Apostle Peter had addressed the problem of those who denied that the Lord was going to come again. They said everything's been going on since it was since the beginning. Peter told them, said, well, you kind of forgot about this thing called the flood. But then he, he told them that the Lord would come and told them how to live. But in verse 16, he spoke of the fact that Paul had written things pertaining to the second coming, and he said they're hard to be understood. But the danger is, though they're hard to be understood, they can be, but people rest them. He said they rest, W-R-E-S-T, they rest them to their own destruction. And sadly today, that happens too. Peter's letter was written to people in the midst of some persecution and trials, and people were taking advantage. They knew that uh, sometimes spectacular things got attention, much like the news. You know, give the spectacular. It doesn't matter whether it's true. Just get the subscribers. Well, sometimes preachers are like that. And today, because of the, the COVID virus, there are people who are succumbing to resters, and there are people who are becoming resters. For example, you hear people saying that all of the bad things are happening, and what it is is an indication that the last days are upon us. And a little bit of resting going on. If you look in the book of Acts, the second chapter, there on the day of Pentecost, after the Lord's death, burial, and resurrection, you find that the apostles were gathered together there in Jerusalem, as Jesus had commanded them, and they began to speak as the Spirit gave them utterance. Well, the people accused them of being drunk because they spoke in languages. They spoke in a language and everybody heard, but if you didn't understand that language, it sounded kind of odd. So they accused them of being drunk. Peter said these aren't drunken. But then he referred to a, a passage in Joel in the second chapter. And he said, this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel in the last days. In other words, he applied the events then to the last days. So are we coming close to the last days today? Uh, you're resting it if you say that. If you say the last days began on the day of Pentecost as recorded in Acts the second chapter, that's what God said. But then people say, well, you know, in the book of Revelation, it talks about how that tribulation is going to come and all of these troubles are going to come and then God's going to establish his kingdom. Well, a little bit of resting going on again. In the book of Revelation in the first chapter, you find where John as Jesus spoke to him and said, write the things that I show you, write the things that are signified. John said, I, John, and he said, your companion in tribulation. Hmm. So if we're talking about something future, well, John said the tribulation spoken of in the book of Revelation was occurring then. As a matter of fact, he spoke of the things shortly to come to pass. He even told them that he was his, your brother in tribulation and in the kingdom. But wait a minute, I thought the kingdom was yet future. The tribulation was going to occur, and then the battle, the battle of Armageddon, and everything's going to be brought. No, that's resting the scriptures. You know, you can go on, but the sad thing is people desire to have a following, and they desire to fall prey to the spectacular things. When it'd be better than being a rester, to be a reader. Look to the scriptures. God doesn't talk about the kingdom or the tribulation as future. He talks about the reality that Jesus has gone to heaven. He said, John 14, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, you can be also. We have that hope before us in the midst of the trial and struggles and tribulation that has been going on and will continue to go on. But we live with a hope. Every day that we wake up, that we have light before us, God says that is his long suffering because he desires that we repent. You see, Jesus will come, according to Peter in 2 Peter 3, and we don't know when that'll be. 
But he says, seeing that these things shall come to pass, what manner of persons ought you to be, be in holy living and conversation? You see, I look to the word. I pattern my life after it. So I'm prepared for that coming. Jesus came so that we could have that hope. We in his kingdom, which the kingdom and the church are one and the same, according to Matthew, the 16th chapter, verse 16 through 18. We in the kingdom and the church, we have that hope. The book of Acts, the second chapter, you find that those that gladly received the word as the last days began, those that gladly received the word were baptized. Why? Because they had been told to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. He said, this promise is unto you, to your children, to those that are far off. That means you and I. So if you're glad to receive the word, then continue to live according to the apostles' doctrine. That's the holy living and conversation. Why do we do that? Not because we want to be part of some resting of the scriptures. We want to read the scriptures. We want to have that hope. So today, make up your mind. Let's live a holy life, a godly life, looking for the coming of Jesus. It's not going to be a bunch of signs. It's going to come as a thief in the night, but we'll be ready because we haven't given in to the resters. and We're not resters ourselves. We're readers of God's word. Thank you for listening. You have a good day. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming. Also, we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time. More information can be found on our website at the link below. Thank you.